Hello. Well, I uh, saw Vice not too long ago. The uh, film starring Christian Bale as Dick Cheney, Amy Adams as um, <clears throat> Lynn Cheney, Steve Carell as Donald Rumsfeld, and uh, Sam Rockwell as George W. Bush. It is a very entertaining film, um, but uh, be forewarned that the film does have a bias in it. Um, you know, the film is very to the left, because, you know, Adam McKay, the writer, director, and producer of the film, uh, <clears throat> uh, is left-wing. His politics are to the left, so... And some of the things that um, go on in the film, uh, I feel are done for the purposes of entertainment, um, perhaps even exaggerated at times, you know. You know, while some stuff in it, you know, are made up uh, to help the story, because um, maybe what actually happened perhaps would be just really boring and not of an interest to anybody, like they don't care. It has nothing to really do with who Dick Cheney is or what was going on during this certain time in his life, so it would have been omitted. Uh, if not being able to be skipping over a certain part in his life for whatever reason, and something that does happen isn't very interesting, they, for whatever reason, have to put it in there. You know, that's it. They left, uh, they, uh, might just make up something in the film, so, there is that, but I will say there is a mid-credits mid scene, um, and it features, a uh, like this consensus, uh, group who are being asked questions about this or that, um, what do you think of this or that, like, terrorism, going into Iraq, going to Afghanistan, or, or Whatever, you know, not too long after um, uh, after um, nine eleven, and somebody's like, you know, reading goes, I don't know what's wrong with this movie. This movie's too liberal. You know, it's kind of like a acknowledging that uh, there is a liberal bias towards this film. Um, which I think is actually funny. It's self-aware, you know, even. So, while it is biased, it also is self-aware. So, there you go. Um, again, uh, take some of the stuff that is in the film, if you do see it, with a grain of salt. You know, they, they, uh, it's very, uh, you know, it's a political film, so, you know. Wherever you may be, on the right or left, um, just be, uh, go in with the attitude of wanting to be entertained. And I think if you go in with that and also hoping that acting is good, you know, you'll, hopefully you'll enjoy it. You know, depending on the, what you think of Dick Cheney or the Bush administration, um, It was, it's a, it was a very entertaining film. I enjoyed it. Um, Christian Bale and Amy Adams are phenomenal. Um, I mean, all the acting you know, across the board was great. Steve Carell and Sam Rockwell are really good. But Bale and Adams in particular were just fantastic. They really deserve the, the acclaim they have gotten. Um, and I believe they even deserve awards. You know, I've said before, you know, Christian Bale deserves his, his Academy Award for the Fighter, which is right there. But, you know, he should have more. You know, I think he could have uh, gotten an Oscar for, like, The Dark Knight. Uh, maybe even been nominated for, like, Dark Knight Rises, possibly. You know, been nominated before The Fighter. I mean, he did deserve it for The Fighter. But, 
you know, he deserves a Best Actor Academy Award. And um, he didn't win for American Hustle. But um, hopefully, you know, he'll win the Golden Globe and all other awards. Um, because he does deserve more accolades than he has gotten in his career. Um, you know, obviously, accolades don't mean a whole lot. You know, they don't determine whether one is truly a good actor or filmmaker. Um, you know, Gary Oldman finally won an Academy Award for Darkest Hour, which I feel is a well-deserved Academy Award, but he deserved it for also Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, uh, Sid and Nancy, and The Contender, you know, in other films, you know, he should have at least been considered for those, uh, Last two I mentioned uh, should have also won for Tinker Tailor, but he didn't win until Darkest Hour. George Lucas hasn't won, but you know uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, filmmakers who have never won Oscars, but you know again you know Christian Bale, he's fantastic, um, and you know he he's just really good at what he does. Uh, same as Amy Adams. I feel she should have won Oscars for sure for The Fighter and American Hustle. I think Bale should have won for the American Hustle as well as The Fighter. So they should have both won Oscars for the same films they've been in. Um, it's just... Uh, it's interesting to think of award shows and stuff with films like this. Um, The acting really, I think, is really the best part of the film. Because um, as historically accurate or inaccurate as the film is or may be, um, entertainment-wise, it is good. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's, 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 they do, though, um, try and make it, like, George Bush was really incompetent, and really Dick Cheney, who's the brains of it all. Um, I don't really think that too much. Um, I'm not saying I'm. I agree with everything George Bush and his administration did 100% of what was going on during those eight years. But I'm just saying that you know, no, yeah, I'm, I don't say I agree with it all, but. Um, I do believe he did make decisions on his own. This film tries to make it like when there's a tough decision to be made, you know, he's thinking about it, but then he kind of either goes to a chain to sort of advise for advice or for him to advise him on something, or Cheney steps in and says something to him, and then from there he does this or that, you know. He makes his decision. Um, they, I don't think that really happened. Like they make it out in the film, I'm sure there was a, there were times where, yes, he did consult Cheney to ensure, you know, do you think this would be a good idea? You know, not sure. You know, a lot of people are saying this, and then others are saying that. I'm sort of leaning one way. What do you think? Like, you know, he would, he would ask some people about what they thought, and they would tell him, and he would make his decision. Um, but, you know, um, that's just what uh, I think. Um, also, Christian Bale uh, did say he went in completely open minded, any political views he had. That could possibly contradict Dick Cheney's views. He kept out. He decided he wanted to go in completely with an open mind and try and know the guy and know why he did this or why he was for the certain policies and politics he was for, why he was against certain things, um, which, you know, I... Um, I really like that. I really like that he didn't go in with a certain bias of this guy and try to make him evil or 
stupid or something. He went in as fair-minded as somebody could. And it seems similar to um, the Amy Adams. You know, she really... They both seem to have admiration for the uh, people they played. You know, be it with family or, you know, whatever. Like they, that Christian Bale said he really respects Cheney for being the family man that he is. Um, and uh, Amy Adams seemed to share similar sentiments towards Lynn Cheney. So, you know, you can come out of, uh, came out of that experience fairly positive on a certain level, which I think is good, you know. Um, yeah. It's an entertaining film. It was a fun film to watch. Um, I do think Bale and Adams deserve any and all accolades they're considered for. Um, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, again, though, awards aren't the end all decisions on this or that regarding what's a great film or a good film or a good or great performance, you know. Uh, we all have our own uh, thoughts on those matters. I've given my thoughts here and there. But, you know, that's just what I... Uh, this is what I uh, think about the film and some of the stuff that, you know, certain actors went into the film with and also it came out of it. Amy Adams even said this is the first film she was ever in character the whole time for, uh, you know, Christian Bale has done that before, you know. Though for him, he's never had training, acting training or lessons, so for him, he has to be the character in order to do a good job, so in that way it made sense for him. Um, not sure if Amy Adams went to, um, an acting school? Well, I don't want to say she never, she didn't, but I can't recall if she did or not. Um, but this is the first film she ever stayed in character on and off camera. You know, apparently she even had certain political debates because of the certain views Lynn Cheney had, and she like incorporated it as their, her own views, whether they aligned with her actual political views or not. You know, I think it's interesting hearing stuff like that. Um, but, you know, um, also, uh, you know, go in with the film uh, with the mind frame of hoping to be entertained and hoping the performances are good. Um, be aware of the political bias. But um, also... Um, in the very beginning, when before they say everything, they do say like, you know, this is you know, you know, a true story and this and that, and or it's as close as a true story about the life of someone like Dick Cheney who has a private life. So a lot of the stuff, I guess, that was used for the inspiration for writing the script was um. having to do with uh, some outside uh, people on the outside of Cheney who just observed and watched and listened to what he said and did and what he may have been saying or thinking, you know, if he's never spoken on about this or that. Uh, but it's very... Uh, but it's a very good film, uh, I think. Um, Cheney and, uh, you know, at the end, there's a thing with Cheney talking to the, the audience, and it's a it's a very interesting moment. I'm not going to say what all happens, but it's very interesting, and uh, I do think it's something that Cheney himself would say. Um, uh, it's a very great performance uh, by Bale. 
Same with Amy Adams. It's just really... It's, uh, it, they're just great actors, great performers. Um, same with Sam Rockwell and uh, Steve Carell and even Tyler Perry. It was Colin Powell. He did an incredible job, too. Um, but, you know, that's uh, really all I have to say. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you seen the film? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, uh, you can leave your thoughts, uh, opinions, uh, in the comment section if you like. I know many people don't do that, but all my videos, but well, that's okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, I will see you all next time. Hope you all have a good day and have a good weekend. Till next time, keep on going.